All right, it's September 21, 2023. It's about 12.35 p.m. now, and I had a good day. I finished in the green, as you can see. Uh, same as yesterday, one win, one break even. Uh, my PA accounts were up $159.08 combined, and my evaluation accounts were up $715.86 uh, combined. And a uh, whole lot to say about this. I actually already recorded something for it, but I had forgotten to put up this uh, results window. So let's get right to my breakdown summary of how the day went. Had two trades today, one break even and one winner. Uh, kind of a strange day for me. Uh, we had the huge sell off. And uh, I started in the market about 6.50 a.m. And this trade occurred about just before seven. So I was in the market for only 10 minutes when this uh, setup developed. And right away something happened uh, in here that made me feel a little bit uneasy about the trade. If I zoom in here. So this was my signal bar here and the entry triggered, so two ticks below, and I didn't enter because it happened really fast, and then it shot up and came all the way back up here. And when it did that, what happens is it, it hits a line on my indicator that uh, I don't want it to hit. My strategy calls for the bars not hitting that line again after I enter. And so, I felt kind of weird about that, but I was thinking to myself and I just started the market. Well, it, it did trigger before that happened. So maybe it's okay. And so when this next bar traveled back down, I entered. And then as you can see, it just chopped around uh, and this many bars stacked up on each other, you know, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 bars before I decided to get out for break even plus one. And I just, I saw it as one attempt to hit my target, a second attempt here to hit my target and a third attempt. And when it wasn't getting to my target, I just decided to pull the ripcord and get out with a break even plus one and uh, be happy that I don't get a loss, which uh, it would have turned into a loss. So uh, as far as this strategy on YouTube goes, this would have been the first loss I would have taken if I hadn't gotten out where I did. And I think I just have to chalk this up to experience and kind of having an understanding of what I'm looking for and realizing that, you know, when I entered, there was really something not quite right about the trade. Uh, so really, you know, I, I kind of feel like this shouldn't even be a gold trade. This really uh, turned out to be a white trade and I'm not supposed to be taking white trades. So I'm glad I got out when I did. Break even plus one, I'll take it. This trade was not a perfect setup and I almost paid the price for it. And then the rest of the day here, we really had these big moves in both directions, even though it was an extremely bearish day. And uh, just here not too long ago, uh, just before 12 uh, West Coast time, I did get a perfect setup where uh, these two bars were touching the line and this bar was not and two ticks below my signal bar here triggered me in and uh, went all the way down here to my eight ticks which forced my auto stop to move down to six and I got uh, my six tick scalp there. I'd say this is a good day for me. Uh, this, this was a good trade to take. I didn't see any others. Uh, of my LO setup today. Uh, so I'm happy with myself that I, I, I took another trade today after my opening trade kind of stumble. Uh, and you can see my entry here, 4,400, and I got out with uh, better by one tick. And, uh, you know, I, I think I'm, I'm proud of myself for taking this last trade of the day after all of this kind of price movement that just wasn't setting up anything right for my strategy here. And uh, finally, seeing this setup and you know still having the confidence to take it, let it work, 
and uh, be happy with my six tick scalp and not try to get greedy and go for more. Even though it went for this whole big move, you know, this easily could have come up and stopped me out. My stop would have been right above this bar here, but look how close that's getting. And it's just not worth the uh, anxiety to stick in there instead of just taking my scalp with, with the methodology that I'm using. So all in all, uh, we're off to a good start. This is my fourth day on YouTube and uh, we'll see how things go tomorrow to finish out the week. I'll do a recap and not many people watching yet, which is good because I'm happy to build up a, a record of uh, success. Uh, the other thing I'd just like to point out is I changed my format here a little bit. So I've now got the R Trader for Apex showing all my accounts here. And uh, here's the Ninja Trader window that shows all of my accounts in Ninja Trader. And everything you'll see will line up. I tried to make this bigger, so hopefully we can see it better on this video. I tried to do this yesterday at the end of the video. And uh, I think it was a little too small to read. So hopefully I've made this uh, easier to read. And we can see that everything lines up between all the accounts. And uh, we're continuing to grow our accounts here and things are headed in a positive direction, so I'm happy. And with that, I'm out of here. Uh, stick with it right here for uh, the live action. I'll just make a short um, lineup of, of both of these trades, and uh, we'll call it a day. Have a good one. All right, maybe have a short here coming up. Order, order submitted. A bearish bar. Order submitted.
like how this is stacking up. Actually, think about getting out of this if I can. Really struggling to see if he'll get there. All right. I mean, get out if it hits me. Order filled. It's just struggling too much on this one, making me feel uncomfortable. I'll take the one tick and be safe for another day. Yeah, this is what I was worried about here. This one was a little weird because uh, this was my signal bar. And it, it went the two ticks on the next bar. Uh, but the problem I have is that after after it went two ticks, it, it came all the way back up here again, which wasn't really a great sign for me. And uh, it looks like I just saved myself a loss by taking the one tick. Once it was stacking up this many bars, I just decided that it was not going to be worth it to hold this on, hold on to this. Uh, this bar in particular was, was kind of strange. Uh, haven't quite seen something like that in all of my testing so far. Um, where it came back up higher here like this on the very entry bar. So um, I know you guys can't see my indicator, but based on my strategy and the indicator, this this bar really made it a little bit uh, not ideal. And I still entered anyway because the rule um, had fit right here between these two bars. But I'm glad I took my my one tick this would have been a loss if i hadn't done that all right this is going order to submitted the of the day Going some sort of way about this. This is where I entered before. And this bar is almost not quite qualified. I'm going to leave this one alone. Order cancelled. Maybe it works, but I think it's actually not qualified. I think this bar doesn't qualify. 
even though it's a great bearish bar, but it worked. It looks like it's going to work. 89, 9, Hasn't worked yet. Needs another point under the low of the day. Just this is literally right where my last trade was. So, and there was a, according to my indicators, questionable whether this bar qualified or not. And I believe it, it actually did not qualify. So I'm glad I skipped this. I only want to take what I consider gold trades, which are essentially black and white. It either is or it isn't. And if there's even a question about it, I really need to just stay away from it, whether it works or not. All right, I walked away and came back. It looks like the trade that I was considering all the way back here would have worked. My stop probably would have been over this swing. So eventually, after a lot of heartache, it would have ended up working, but you see how sometimes you enter a trade and when you feel like it's just not going according to your plan, uh, it's better to get out because you can get stopped out. So while this one would have ultimately ended up working, uh, I just believe that, you know, you, even though you have a strategy that's, you know, black and white in terms of whether you're supposed to get in or not. Uh, experience also comes into play and here when I have you know I enter a trade and I have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten bars going completely sideways and my trading system is completely set up on trying to get in on momentum uh, that's just antithetical to uh, the reason for my trade in the first place and it's also I mean one one attempt to push down, a second attempt to push down, a third attempt to push down. So uh, I think while I was in this trade, I kind of had a sense that that was happening. It was trying and trying and trying. And uh, by the time it wasn't getting there uh, after this bar, I just said, okay, it's time to pull the ripcord and get out of here. And I'm glad I did because this would have turned into a loss. Uh, this one over here just really um, didn't fit the rules to, to enter anyway. Um, so it definitely would have just been considered a white, aggressive, subjective trade for me. Uh, and I really just want to enter what I consider gold trades, which are uh, intended to be objective and not subjective. Order submitted. See here. We have a bearish bar. Somewhat bearish. <sighs> See if it comes back down. The problem I have with this is it's kind of in the middle. Bar is, what is it, five ticks and it finished what, six ticks. One, two, three, four, no, it's five ticks and it finished right in the middle. I'd want it to be one more uh, tick bearish for me to take this trade. Unfortunately, that, that would have been Order a trade. Canceled. So we can, uh, we can mark it. <clears throat> this would have been a white trade. Maybe something else will form after this even. My dog says, no, don't take it. Let's see what happens here. Order I'll get an submitted. Order just in case again. I 
I'm looking for a very bearish bar to enter below, potentially. Or you could still enter after this. Yeah, it's kind of a still enter the white trade or you wait for a gold here. I personally, I'm going to wait for gold. And I know it looks weird because then you're entering even lower for a worse price. But I think that that would be the safer option. It's kind of, it's kind of like confirmation. If it goes any higher, it's going to be too high. Uh, even if it turned bearish now, I might not be able to take it. No, no it's not going to be a bearish bar. And definitely not going in after a doji. I'll tell you that much. So... Yeah, I mean, this, this white trade is still in play. But um, I just I can't enter that. I, I need this bar to be one tick lower for it to look like a bearish bar for me. This looks a little bit indecisive in the middle. Again, I'm looking for momentum to the downside here for a trade. And always because I'm getting in at bottoms of moves, I want to see follow through. Now it's starting to stack up. One, two, three, four, fifth bar, bullish bar. Order I canceled. I say this is not going to be a trade for me. Let's we'll see if the white one works in a little bit. All right. There's some support down here, but. Order submitted. Let's see if we get a uh, bearish bar here. Nope. There'll have to be another bar no matter what here. This is a uh, hardy counterfeit. Let's see what we get here. It's kind of a strange day today. It's just uh, not many good setups. I find the PA to be moving a little bit strangely, a little uneasy for my liking. Let's see what happens with this bar here. I had a strange start to the day with my break even trade. And I uh, just haven't really been feeling it today. So just been keeping my cool and waiting for something to develop. Looks like this is going to turn into a consolidation area, but we'll see. There's been a, a lot of big moves in both directions. Mostly down, down uh, one and a quarter percent today so far. Yeah, I'm getting close to calling it a day here. This doesn't look like it's going to set up. Get ready just in case. Bearish bar down here. A reasonable stop, I think. Right into the lows. This qualifies if it goes two ticks. Let's 
Let's see what we got. Order submitted. Feels risky right at right at uh, support here, but my strategy says it's a go. Let's see if it works. Four and a half point stop. Another trade at the low of the day, but the strategy says take it. I'll be careful if it goes seven ticks and starts to reverse. Hasn't gone seven yet. Couple ticks away. Come on. There's seven. There's seven. All right. Order I filled. got locked in. And we got we got six ticks. I'll take six ticks. I'll take it every time. So uh this has been a, a strange feeling day. Uh, the PA is just really made me feel uneasy all, all day today. And uh, I think it's because I, I had my first trade that was a break even trade within the first 10 minutes that I was on uh, on the chart. And uh, let's see, plus six ticks. This was good. Uh, you know, this bar um, had a touch on my indicator uh, that I was looking for. And then we had a nice bearish bar afterwards, uh, which is my LO bar. And we went two ticks below my LO bar, my signal bar. So um, this was a good trade for me. Uh, a little nerve wracking considering my last two trades. I, you know, a trade this morning I took a break even plus one trade and uh, it would have turned into a loser if I didn't get out break even when I did and uh, my trade that I finished the day on yesterday uh, would have ended up working but I got a little nervous late in the day and uh, saw a little bit of support that I was uh, shorting into and just decided to take break even plus one so uh, this trade makes me happy it's it's already 12 o'clock we're getting towards the end of the day. I'm not going to take trades after 1230 anymore, no matter what. So I'm happy with this trade. I got six ticks. Whether I get eight or six, I'm always happy. And you can see if uh, if I tried to go for more, um, you know, this might turn into a problem that maybe would turn into a losing trade if I tried to be greedy. So I found six to eight ticks is my sweet spot. Take whichever it get, the market gives me and uh, we'll move on with the day. So you can see my accounts are green here and uh, uh, you'll see this is my Apex uh, R-Trader window. Uh, so you'll see everything matches between the NinjaTrader uh, accounts that I'm showing 
and the R Trader accounts. Everything should line up. And uh, all right, we're out of this trade. Uh, we're 1 0 with one break even again. And I'll keep looking to see if there's anything else that develops. Otherwise, we'll do our wrap up here soon and I'll throw it at the top of the video.